Are you just breaking into the AR-15 world? Maybe you don't really know what's going on, but you're a little overwhelmed by all the different options, including even just the magazines? Well, welcome to another episode of the Frank and Vet Experiment, where we not only give you the knowledge, but the confidence in all of your tactical survival and firearms needs. And today we'll be reviewing three of the most popular AR-15 style magazines, their pros, their cons, and what you, what you really need out of this platform. All right, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at uh, three of the most common magazines that we have out there right now, uh, and actually the most popular ones. So, right here we're gonna have our USGI, what we call a Steely, it's a steel, just mil-spec magazine, nothing crazy. Next to that, we're gonna have our 30 round um, Gen 3 PMAG, and then next to that, we're gonna have our Lancer L5AWM. We'll just kind of get right into it. So first of all, we're gonna look at the uh, USGI. It's a unibody steel construction. It has four basic parts. You have the, the steel body, fully connected uh, feed lips. Uh, you have your base plate right there. Just a simple slide off. Uh, inside, we have our, our steel spring and our non-anti-rotation follower. I don't know if you guys can, there we go. You guys see this? This is crazy bad compared to it in the last 20 years. We've came a long way. And what this is, this basically just means that the follower, which is this thing right here, it's where the, the ammunition sits. Uh, if you don't put it in evenly or it comes out wrong, one side can push down while the other side stays up. See that? I had a lot of issues with that when I was in the Army. Now, most GI mags don't come like that. In fact, the Army now actually endorses using PMAGs and they actually issue those. So that's kind of crazy, which kind of sucks for me when I was in, but great for you guys now. This thing is, like I said, it's full steel construction from the spring, the body, the base plate, everything steel. They do come in uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, and actually Surefire has a 60 round uh, steely that's pretty popular. So just so you know, that's what this is. This is kind of the old and great, just mil spec, blah, blah, blah. Nobody really likes it. Uh, next thing we have is our PMAG. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. This is a PMAG Gen 3. Beautiful, it's nice, I love it. It is a, uni again, a unibody construction uh, of their airplane polymer. The first really polymer magazine to come out and take off. It is fancier in the fact that the base plate, it does have the same parts in the, as a base plate is bringing a body, but the base plate actually just has a button that you push in and you pull it out and then push it in, push that out, and then you have the base plate follower. And so it's one more piece than the other one, but yeah, you take your spring out and your follower and everything. And you just push it back in, close it up, Bam, you're good to go. But this is what I was talking about. That has a non-anti-rotation follower. This one has an anti-rotation follower. So when I push down, it pushes down evenly. Uh, this actually causes a ridiculous amount of malfunctions. Well, this one, uh, the anti-rotation follower, which is actually pretty standard now in almost every magazine that you're gonna get, both steely and not, it's gonna be something that I'm gonna look in in almost any magazine that I'm gonna run. Uh, because it does, it solves so many problems. You have so many less malfunctions with that. So, always a good thing to look at. Like I said, you have a um, polymer, opaque, unibody. It, you can actually get a windowed version of this. I don't have one sitting here, but it basically has a window there and you can see you know, your bullets. Uh, it's just one more part. Uh, polymer base plate, polymer, um, I forgot what you would even call that piece, but the secondary part, uh, and the steel spring, and then a polymer anti-rotation follower. So these do come in 10, 20, 30, and also 40 rounds, and then you can get drums for 50 and larger uh, from PMAG, or from Magpul. So, but that's their PMAG Gen 3. And now we get over to the latest and greatest, and this is what I like to run a lot of times now, uh, because it's, you know, the PMAG, but better. Uh, this is actually the Lancer L5 AWM. Uh, and this comes in both opaque and translucent. This one's actually a fogged or a smoked 
translucent and this is the FDE smoked. They have a FDE, I think they have an OD green and then they just have regular smoked. They also have regular translucent and regular opaque. Now this is a dual piece body in the respect that you have the main polymer body but then you have steel feed lips. Now, why is that so important? And everything else is the same. It's a steel spring, um, polymer base plate. So a lot like the PMAG, but why are the steel feed lips so important? Well, some people have had issues with the PMAGs. If you leave them loaded for too long, if they get too hot, uh, the, feed mag, or the feed lips will actually tend to separate because they're polymer. Uh, now, I've personally never had this issue on any of my PMAGs, and at one point I actually thought this was like, oh, you must be doing something wrong, maybe it's your rifle, but I've actually seen guys who, they just leave their magazines loaded, like, you know, a lot of us do, and they go to put them in and they, they start having issues with that. So, uh, it's something to think about. If you're gonna leave magazines loaded, you could have an issue with the, uh, with the feed lips, but that being said, the Lancers don't have that issue. They fixed that issue with the steel feed lips. So that is super sweet. They do come in 10, 20, 30, and I think they have like a 40 out now. I'm not sure, I'll have to take a look and double check and let you guys know in the comments below. But just like the other two, you do get them in 10, 20, 30 uh, for sure. You're gonna see a lot of steelies coming in, probably a 30 round magazine, go to Brownells, so you can get one for about $10.50. Uh, 30 round for a regular PMAG non-windowed, like one of these is gonna come about 12 bucks. You can get a windowed one for like 14 bucks. And then your Lancers are gonna come in at about 17 bucks. So yeah, you're gonna pay a little bit more uh, for these ones. But as well, this is something that the reason that I do it. A lot of people are like, oh, well the weight's so much different. It's not, I don't give a shit about the weight. <laughs> uh, it's like a half an ounce. It's ridiculously stupid. Don't even worry about that. It doesn't make any sense. But that's one noise, that's one noise. That's one noise. These have less noise when you bang them around. Uh, the the Steelys also, while they're painted, uh, they tend to shine and shimmer a lot. You get this flat back, flat, like matte black finish on the, the mag poles so they don't shine as much. And then as well on the Lancers, they tend to not shine as much as well. I know there's a little bit of glimmer on there, but not really. They really don't reflect. So uh, it's the noise when you bang them around. Uh, that doesn't, yeah, it's an annoying noise. I've heard it for too long. So one of the things that, the reasons why I like these two a lot better, the polymers a lot better, is the fact that it's actually noise reduction, especially when you're pulling it out, putting it in, once they're loaded, um, you're gonna get a lot less noise off these two, which can be very important depending on what you're doing. So, something to think about. Anyways, like I said, this is just a basic overview of the three most popular styles of AR-15 magazines. If you guys do live in a state, where you cannot have 30 round magazines, do not attempt to purchase these. For one, the websites won't allow you, uh, but I don't condone anything illegal. Stay within the legal rights of your state. If they suck, move or change them, even better. But uh, I'm just using the 30 rounds because they're the most popular and my state allows them. So anyways, yeah, like I said, you can go with any of these. These are my preference. Now it's your turn to tell us, what kind of AR magazines do you run with your setup? Have you had any issues? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you like today's content, don't be afraid to hit that like and share button. And don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of our weekly content coming out every Wednesday and Friday. As always, stay smart, stay safe, stay alive.